Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the TOO mode for the AGM 154C JSAL. And we're just going to do like a little bit of a guide here and show a couple of different examples on how you can employ the weapon at the current state of DCS. So right now we're in the mission editor and I'll make this mission available for everybody. I'll put a link to my Google Drive and I'll also upload it to the uh, DCS files on the ED website. So what I did here was I just created a simple mission with an F-18 with eight JSOWs, the C version, which is the hard penetrator version. And to be able to do this correctly, you need to make sure you put the waypoints onto your target that you want to destroy. You want to zoom in and make sure that the waypoint is exactly on the target that you would like to destroy. The other important thing to do though is make sure the altitude is correct of the waypoint. So when I zoom in on waypoint one, over here on the altitude, it says 65, 62. That's the default altitude for a air waypoint. So we wanna make this a ground waypoint. So in order to do this, I'll just highlight it and put in one for one foot. And what it's gonna do is change it to the actual altitude of ground elevation where you have selected. So it's 125 feet now. And you want to make sure you do this on all of your targets. It's very important. So I can just use the uh, cycle function up here. And I did it to all of the targets except for number seven. Number seven is still 6562. And I'm going to show you guys how to change that in the aircraft uh, while we're airborne, just in case you forgot. And I also have another TU-22 right here. And we're going to create a precise waypoint and show you how to blow that up in case you don't have any pre-planned waypoints like this in the mission editor. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. All right, so now that we're in the aircraft, I'll just go ahead and turn on the autopilot. And I'm gonna go ahead and select JSC, JSAL. You can see the timer has started and we were looking for a good alignment. So I'll go ahead and select air to ground and make sure this is in TOO or target of opportunity mode. That's pre-plan mode for PP and TOO for target of opportunity. Our E-fuse is off, so we need to make sure we set that to instantaneous and it's now set up. So let's go ahead and get into the HSI. Come over here, go into our support page, HSI, and we'll click data. Now what we need to do is click on aircraft. And this is our current position right here. And we're going to come down to the bottom right here, and we're going to change this lat long to seconds. There's a good video by Red Kite on precise waypoints that he just put out. I'll link that in the description below. So we need to make sure we hit it into seconds, which is down here. Next, we're going to click on uh, HSI again. Go back into data, sequence UFC, and we need to set up another waypoint. So we're going to set up waypoint 8 since we have seven waypoints here. We'll click insert, eight, enter. You can see it created waypoint eight for us. We're gonna go to waypoint eight using the rocker switch here. So here's waypoint eight. We're gonna click precise. You can see the coordinates change here to include seconds. And we're gonna go ahead and put in the coordinates that I jotted down. You can get those via the F10 map. So we'll click on UFC, position, north, 25, 0, 06, 24, enter, 82, enter. See it came in over here, I'm sure that's correct. 25, 0, 06, 24, 82, that's correct. So we'll click on east, 56, 20, 21, enter, 50, enter. Make sure that's correct over here. So east 56, 20, 21, 50. That's correct. The well, elevation, we need to make sure we put that in. We'll click elevation, feet. And the elevation, that TU-22, 66 feet. So now that is entered in there. We'll go back to waypoint one. Click HSI. We're gonna designate it as a waypoint and then a target date, uh, target waypoint. 
So now you can see we got the min and max launch ranges here. So this is the max launch range and this is the min launch range. So we're all set up now. And I forgot we need to go to waypoint 7. Because I told you I was going to fix that for you. So you can see it says 6561. So what we need to do is just click UFC. This is if you did not put in the elevation. We'll click elevation and the elevation of that uh, aircraft was here. This was waypoint seven. It was 95 feet. I got that via the F10 map up here on the top left. But 95 feet. And that's in there now. Go back to waypoint one, HSI. Waypoint designate. So now we're inside the max launch range. I like to wait till we're about three quarters of the way in. Let's go over and make sure we have everything uh, correctly selected. Got our JSAL, TOO mode, and our E-Fuse is set to instantaneous. What we're going to do here is we're just going to cycle through the waypoints and redesignate it as a target to launch all these bad boys. So we're within range now. And you can tell on the HUD says in range as well. So we'll pickle our first one here. That was inlaid ice. Thank you. So I'll pick our first one here. One away. Click waypoint two. Designate. That one's away. Designate. Designate. And waypoint eight is our precise location that we just inputted. And that one's away. So what exactly is the JSAL, the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon? It's a product of a joint venture between the United States Navy and Air Force to, to, to deploy a standardized medium-range precision-guided weapon, especially for engagement of defended targets from outside the range of standard anti-aircraft defenses, thereby increasing the aircraft's survivability and minimizing friendly losses. So the cost of a AGM-154C is about 719000 US dollars, and it weighs about uh, 1,100 pounds. I'm getting all this information from the Wikipedia. I'll go ahead and link that for you, so you guys can uh, follow along and read about it if you want. There's a lot of good information in here about it. Kaboom! Well, we had eight JSOWs. We got eight successful shacks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. A guide on the TOO for the AGM-154C. We'll see you guys next time.